Hey everyone, Zev here and welcome to Paint the Town Red Overview. This is kind of crazy looking, but I do love the idea. And I believe people already know about this since it's kind of like transitioning into VR from Pancake. I mean, hey, going for the unique concepts is the way to go. And if you can stand out these days, then all power to you. <laughs> so Paint the Town Red is a chaotic brawler action game where, depending on your taste in mayhem and destruction, you're gonna be able to experience the combat madness firsthand, immerse yourself in the voxel-style world and explore a vast combat mechanics of extermination. This is pretty much a perfect fit for VR, since the graphics shouldn't be necessarily hard to process, although they are detailed, which is a nice touch. With art styles like that, it's very easy to be put in the tacky and unpolished box, but here, it definitely has its own charm and I've never seen anything like this. It seems to be a pure combat simulator with set scenarios that transports you into different situations with not much repetition. It could be compared to, you know, Gorn, Blade and Sorcery and stuff like that, but I feel like this is so vastly different in terms of just everything going on that it's gonna have a really good time on the store. If it's with the physics, interactions, level of detail, the only thing I hope for is that it's not a pure sand box where you can do whatever you want but with no guidance whatsoever. The devs state that there are various modes like arena and roach like beneath underworld so I think it's safe to assume the gameplay will have some variety and it's just not a complete beatdown. Let's enter the ring. <laughs> Something's not right here. Immediately from the jump. Like, my hands are not aligned to my controllers when they are very far forward. Close by, maybe, but the more you go here, it just gets unrealistic. I wouldn't say resolution is top tier. Something was just shaking, like, UI out of place? Okay. <laughs> yeah, those angles will be very weird. Like, I don't need to necessarily walk to the enemy. What's happening? Like, the screen is shaking? Like, it's just... I didn't even start the game. <laughs> the leg goes from my hand. How far it's atrocious. <gasps> okay, but that's not like accurate nor fun. <laughs> Point and click stuff as well. I mean, I'm doing it. I hate this. Let's just go to the normal stage.
Like, I don't know what's happening with the visuals and... This whole thing is a mess. Like, it's not comfortable to play at all. Oh, what the? <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I can't do like proper movements because everything is just screwed up. Stop the music. Peace and quiet. I mean, I suppose I understand the angle approach because they're pretty big and you need some distance to make yourself safe, but that's not the point of VR. Well, now it worked. Who plays the instrument? Oh. Only artists on stage. I can't see what's happening for this shake. It's such a shame because the game itself could be a great stress reliever. But that just makes me mentally unstable. <laughs> oh, what's happening upstairs? Can I grab you? Okay, so what's the goal? Like, they just keep coming. The interactions aren't the best either. Expected blocky and kind of basic textures, but this could have been done way better. It's just the faces that have details. Ah, okay, so I need to kill a certain amount of enemies. That's a lot! <laughs> and do I have potions or something? I'm not beating up women! Well, you asked for it! This 
this is like really hard and exhausting. So this is this roach like mode. I wonder what this is about. The game's designed to be chaotic, but it's just the unpolishedness is very prevalent. Like even the screen tears and it's crazy because you would never think a game like that would have any problems whatsoever. So it's just a bad VR implementation, that's all. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what's happening, but I suppose let's just go by the elevator. This is spooky. For some reason I'm walking faster now. Like it kinda screws up with my dynamic. It's just the combination of movement and now those weird ass angles, it's very disorienting. More speed? Hell am I? It's also weird because this game has content clearly, but the execution is just atrocious. Is that the goal here? <laughs> I don't like uh, how they look at me and stuff. Oof. I can't attack them either. Oh shit, myself. Fountain. Ah, 
Ah, okay. Ew. Can I go fast? I don't know where. Oh, what the hell? This crystal is moving. Jesus. Sometimes I can barely aim at them. It's scary. <laughs> now I can't kick him. Is this a boss? I need to like stop to take a breath and see what's going on around me. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. It's such a shame because I thought this game is gonna be like solid because... It should have a lot of good things going around it, but... This is just like a mess in total. If it's with the VR implementation, put resolution with the environments, like everything's all over the place. Very weird screen shaking, the interactions and the movement is just not it. There's clearly some decent content going on. I don't know to what it really leads to. Like, I just don't appreciate how it was done. It sucks, but it is what it is and we need to move past it. 